I'm just going to get straight to the point and show you my testing and results. For the Lightroom test I took 112 raw images and exported them in JPEG format. I didn't overclock the Score i5 because my motherboard doesn't support overclock, so it runs at stock frequencies. When exporting starts you can see that CPU load is not always 100% and it works more like bursting, which is I believe normal for Lightroom. I'm not going to make you sit through the test and just show you the results. It took almost 9 minutes to finish export and the max temperature was 57 degrees, which is pretty good. Then I did the same test with Ryzen. Exact same raw images, exact same settings, exact same folders. Before running the test I was able to easily overclock Ryzen to 3.7 GHz, which is actually a default boost frequency. Also be sure to update your Lightroom to the most recent version, because with the older version the performance wasn't much better than my Core i5. For Ryzen chip it took only 4 minutes and 48 seconds, which is almost twice as fast. You can see that all 16 threads were bursting as well. I didn't show the temps on this video, but this chip usually goes up to 70 degrees overclocked when under full load, which is hotter than the i5. Then I went to After Effects and rendered a 4K time lapse with the images that I just exported. Unfortunately, After Effects is not optimized for 8 core chips, and for some reason it is very light on your CPU so the difference wasn't substantial 1 minute and 20 seconds for i5 and 1 minute and 9 seconds for Ryzen I hope Adobe will improve it and optimize its performance for 8 core chips next I tested Vegas Pro I took one of my time lapses and converted it to 1080-24p file with the same settings for both CPU for Core i5 it took 1 minute and 5 seconds, and for Ryzen it took only 26 seconds, which is almost 3 times as fast. So to sum it up, Ryzen is a great CPU, but if you use After Effects a lot or Premiere Pro, you might not see a big performance bump. And I don't really see the point of updating. Better stick with quad core high frequency CPU. For Lightroom, Vegas Pro and many other CPU intensive apps, it does make sense to switch to Ryzen. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Click like, subscribe and check out my time lapses and other reviews.